Earlier today, Xiaomi announced the new Mi Note 3 in China. In today's video, let's take a look at all you need to know about Xiaomi's newest Note. And my thoughts on the same. Hey guys, Ash here from C4E Tech and let's get started. With the Mi Note 3, Xiaomi have kind of strayed away from what they've been doing with the Mi Note series in the past. You know, for starters, the Mi Note 3 kind of loses a bit of screen real estate. It is smaller than its predecessors with a 5.5 inch display, still full HD. The display technology is back to IPS LCD after Xiaomi kind of flirted around with AMOLED last year. Uh, that's actually a good move. The IPS LCD displays Xiaomi's used are usually excellent and I wasn't really a fan of the AMOLED panels that they tried out on either the Mi Note 2 or the Redmi Pro. Another change is with the hardware. While the Mi Note series have usually been larger Mi flagships essentially, this time around the hardware inside kind of takes a hit. Instead of the flagship Snapdragon 835 that we've seen on the Mi 6, we find the excellent but mid-range Snapdragon 660 powering the Mi Note 3. But barring that, the Mi Note 3 brings with it almost everything else that you'd expect from a larger Mi 6. It's got a 16 megapixel selfie camera, stereo speakers, now that's something I absolutely adored with the Mi 6, the glass back which curves on all four sides, again, just like we've seen with the Mi 6, a front facing under the glass fingerprint scanner, and to the back, a dual camera setup. Now Xiaomi didn't mention the exact sensor used but it looks like it might just be the same setup from the Mi 6 again. Dual 12 megapixel cameras, one regular, one telephoto with 4 axis optical image stabilization. Given that Snapdragon 660 can also support 4K video, that should be available too. If this is indeed the Mi 6's cameras then we are in for a treat cause the Mi 6 in our time with it proved to have extremely capable cameras with an excellent portrait mode nonetheless which again they've said that they've improved upon. Xiaomi is also introducing more purify options and of course the Mi Note 3 will be running on MIUI 9 built on top of Android 7 Nougat. If you want to check out the top 14 new features MIUI 9 brings with it, here's a card to a video on the same. Do check it out, let us know what you think. So all this will be backed up by a 3500 mAh battery and of course there is support for Quick Charge 3.0 via the Type-C port. And now we get to the price. The Mi Note 3's pricing starts at 2499 yuan, that's about 24,000 Indian rupees or 380 US dollars. And it goes all the way up to 2999 yuan, that's about 29,000 Indian rupees or 460 US dollars. While the pricing isn't outrageous or anything, a few years back there was a lot more difference between Xiaomi and say Oppo. But today the Mi Note 3 is to the Mi 6, what the Oppo R11 is to the OnePlus 5. Don't you think so? Don't you think the Mi Note 3 is Xiaomi almost pulling an Oppo, pricing a different phone around the same while swapping out the heart of it with a higher mid-range chip? The 660 is an excellent chip and performed great when we tested it out, so no complaints about it. But what do you think about this new direction from Xiaomi? I mean, don't you feel that's basically the Oppo R11, right? It's a OnePlus 5 minus the 835 plus, uh, what do you call it? Uh, a 660 with a higher resolution selfie camera similarities. What do you think? Are you happy with the 660? Do you think they should have gone with the 835? Or better yet, do you think, I mean, are you saying I don't care what they go with, it, what they go with as long as they bring it to India? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. So by the way, this wasn't the only phone Xiaomi launched yesterday. They did also today. Why, why, why did I write yesterday? I'm sorry, this wasn't the only phone Xiaomi launched today. They did also launch the Mi Mix 2. If you haven't checked out our video on that, here's a card to that. And they also happened to launch a Mi Notebook Pro. If you'd like to see us do a video on that too, let us know in the comments below and I'll try, I will try to get that done. So that's it for this quick video on all you need to know about the Mi Note 3. If you hated this video, you know what to do, but if you did like it, give it a big huge thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, click that subscribe button down below. If you have already subscribed, hit that bell icon to make sure you get notified each time a new video goes live here on C4E Tech. So that's it. Thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, this here is Ash. You've been watching C4E Tech. And I'm signing off for now. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.